Hey guys, how's it going? It's uh, Kellen here again, another review. Uh, been quite a while, I've been pretty busy with school, so um, kind of taking a break from my final studying right now, so I thought I'd just do a review real fast. Um, so yeah, looking at one from Common Roots Brewing Company. Um, this is their Bright Light. Uh, it's an 8% double IPA, brewed exclusively, solely with citra hops. Yep, made with all citra hops. A uh, modern style double IPA. There you go. Um, I've actually never had a beer from these guys before. Uh, they're actually, and they're also really close to um, a family house of mine in uh, upstate New York. In Glen I think they're from South Glens Falls. Yeah, South Glens Falls. And I just haven't really uh, gone out there yet. Um, but I've heard they've, I've heard solid things about their beers. Um, I think they've been around for at least three or four years now. It could be longer. I'm not really sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, uh, I got this one at the store. I heard it was good, so why not give it a try? Um, well, this is canned the 13th, so yeah, we're almost at a month, which is fine. I've, the more I've noticed, I mean, if you can't really, if a, if a double IPA falls out off after a month and all the hot presence falls and degrades after that short amount of time, the brew, the beer wasn't really conditioned that well. Um, I've had, you know, sometimes I've had beers at Tastes drastically different after two weeks, um, and I've had beers after two months that are just as good. I think a lot of it is too is the malt base. Sometimes, um, obviously, with beers that are less malt forward or have a, less of a malt base to them, a contribution to this actual flavor, um, it's gonna take the juicy, hoppy kind of flavors will obviously persist for a longer time. Um, so that's just you know my experience. Obviously, way it kind of varies. Sometimes you'll get like a juice bomb. Same juice bomb, and a week later it'll be it'll just fall out completely. So it's kind of fickle. I don't think there's really a trend. I think a lot of this has to do with conditioning. Um, so yeah, let's get into this. I've looked at previous pictures of this beer, and um, they must have changed their yeast or try to make this a little more New England like because it used to be a crystal clear, um, like crystal clear double IPA. So uh, totally hazy now. Um, again, it's my first time I've had this beer or first beer from them in general. So yeah, it looks good. Um, pour that a little too full, but it's an aroma. Okay. Um, yeah, I definitely. I mean, honestly, the I know the fact that I noticed citra hops in it, I can smell it, but it's not that poppin' classic citra element I get. Um, if someone told me it was like Simcoe or something, or you know, like some type of blend of hops, I would, I might, I would probably believe them. Uh, this kind of generic orangey lemony kind of notes maybe some pineapple in there definitely smells pretty sticky sweet i mean there's definitely citra in there but it's not like the most impactful like wow this is a total display of citra um, it's not like a nose like that that just gushes out um but it smells good um definitely some sweetness um but yeah there's a lot of citrus fruit and pineapple is really what i'm getting but yeah, there's really no over, like, even at, at a month old, again, maybe it's a good sign, it it's brewed pretty well. Um, not No like overwhelming malt presence or anything, so uh, it smells good. Uh, looks pretty tasty, looks good to taste. Um, taste well as a nose. Uh, lemon, like, like candy lemon, not like tart lemon, but like a, maybe like a lemon sorbet, orange, a little pithiness, not too bitter, a little bit of like residual um, pithy bitterness, nice body, um, kind of a thick, kind of more syrupy kind of mouthfeel, definitely some sweetness to it, at 8%, you'd expect that. There's kind of like an astringent, a slight kind of bitter kind of sappiness on that back end of uh, the palate, but pretty solid stuff. Um, very easy drinking. I'm um, not exactly, again, this beer just look completely different, so, you know, if I were to do a blind comparison I don't, uh, between that, this batch and older batches, I wonder if uh, what, what they did to this beer, if they put more oats in it, if they kind of amplified it, put more hops, um, if or if are just trying to, they just literally just change the appearance. Um, which a lot of breweries have a way of doing that, so.
You kind of like a honey kind of sweetness to it. Again, though, um, I mean, it's it, it's citru it's it's very it's similar to citra, or what I'd get from citra in the sense that it's just kind of a sweet citrus, pineapple-y kind of flavor um, display of uh, fruit, um, but it doesn't have. Sometimes it's hard to describe, but sometimes I there's kind of quintessential notes I get from certain hops, and this one doesn't necessarily display citra in, um, in the best. You know, in, in the most textbook way, I, I would describe it, um, which isn't a bad thing. It still tastes great. It's still a good beer. It's all beer. But um, yeah, again, I'm just saying, like, if I were to go into this, um, there's sometimes I'll have a beer. I'm like, holy shit, this is obviously Citra. This is obviously Mosaic. Um, this one's not like that. So um, yeah, still really good, really drinkable. Um, and for a first beer from these guys, I'm you know I'm, I'm solidly impressed. Uh, I'm just gonna give this guy maybe a 90. Uh, again. I mean, it's it's very well made, balanced, pretty balanced. Um, it just doesn't, you know. I guess I'm more adjusted to uh, kind of this full of juice bombs, um, but it's really tasty, uh, dangerously drinkable. Um, but definitely check it out. Again, I don't know if this. I'm pretty sure Raven Brew, given a name, I don't know if this is like a seasonal kind of beer. Uh, but I was looking at the release, and apparently they haven't made this in a while, so or brewed this specific beer in a while. So maybe they're. Just twerking their batches or tweaking their batches a little bit, um, but if so, keep doing this because it's solid. Um, yeah, like it. 90 out of 100. Till next time, guys. Cheers.